Am I the asshole for picking up my sister when she didn't want to babysit and causing the parents to lose $250? My, F20, younger sister, F15, came to visit our city for a few weeks as part of her summer vacation. She split her time between my place and my aunt's, F30, place. My aunt has two toddlers, and is currently on maternity leave. While my sister was at my aunt's, she spent most of her time babysitting, unpaid. While my aunt went out to see friends, get her nails done, dates with husband, etc. Every single day she was there, she was babysitting for between 4-8 hours a day. There was one day where my aunt was gone all day, came home briefly, and went back out again for the evening, leaving my sister with the kids literally all day. A few days ago, I asked my sister if she wanted to come to Dave and Buster's with me and some friends. She tells me she really wants to, but can't because she's babysitting again. I told her that she's allowed to decline. She was a bit scared to say no, but yesterday she told my aunt that she can't babysit on Friday, today. My aunt says too bad, they have a dinner reservation at an expensive restaurant and will lose the deposit, $250, if they don't show up. My sister told my aunt that she was exhausted from babysitting, but my aunt basically said sorry, but she has to stay and watch the kids. My sister is was disappointed, but didn't put up any more fight. At that point, I decided to intervene and told my aunt I'd be picking up my sister on Friday and that's the end of it. She sent me a whole bunch of texts after that, but honestly I didn't reply or even read them. I show up to pick up my sister, and my aunt comes out to my car yelling at me. She says it's not my business what my sister does and she's staying. I ignored my aunt and saw my sister at the door and yelled over to her to come get in the car. She did. My aunt couldn't believe that she was actually leaving and started yelling at my sister too. My sister looked scared, but I told her to just get in the car. We drove away. They couldn't find a replacement babysitter last minute and ended up missing their reservation and being charged for that cancellation. My mom is with me on this and said I did good for getting my sister out of the house. But, another aunt heard about the story and she told me I shouldn't have picked up my sister after aunt number one said she already has dinner reservations. She also said that I shouldn't have intervened and should have let my sister learn to stand up for herself. So now I am questioning if I should have let my sister stay there and learn a lesson in standing up to people or if I did the right thing. Am I the asshole for picking up my sister and leaving? Not the asshole, I'm glad your mom is on your sister's side. She should learn to stick up for herself? She's 15 and being taken advantage of by her adult aunt. You did the right thing. ETA the person who needs to learn here is your aunt, not to take advantage of her niece. Not the asshole and thank you for doing that. Your sister is not free babysitting and not at the whim of your aunt. Also, shouldn't your aunt be bonding with the kids? Not sure how long mat leave is where you are but even a year, I'd expect the mother to be with baby a little more. I know parents need breaks but a whole day? Not. Not the asshole. Am I the asshole for humiliating my wife on social media to defend my mom? We finally have gone no contact with my mom. It was a long hard decision, but she and my wife are just fundamentally unable to get along and recently had a vicious fight, and I knew I had to put my wife first. This fight was so bad my mom didn't even protest the no contact. We are just done with each other, but I can't say it hasn't been gut-wrenching. My mom has given her version of the story to everyone, so I get that my wife wants to defend herself, but I hate that she is posting on social media because I find that tacky, and my mom just told people verbally. Anyway my wife made a couple posts about my mom's behavior over the years, which hey they were true, but then she claimed my mom wore white to our wedding, she didn't and she posted a picture to prove it. This picture is not from our wedding. It is from my mom's own wedding, and my wife labeled it the mother-son dance. I was mortified. I don't even care about the white dress, but the man my mom was with was her husband not me, face was cropped out, and I felt humiliated. He was holding her very intimately, hand on her lower back, her head buried in his chest. My mom and I would never ever touch like that and it made me feel ick. Hell my mom was stiff during the actual mother-son dance. I know some families are more affectionate, but I would just never do that. I asked my wife to take it down and she refused. I took it into my own hands and comments, honey think you are confused. That's, stepdad's name, remember that was their wedding. She actually wore green to ours, and posted the pictures for proof. My wife was furious and deeply hurt. She broke down crying and said I publicly humiliated her and sided with my mom. She said she just wanted a little bit of petty revenge and I should have taken her side. 
It's been a day and she is still clearly upset. Not the asshole. She publicly humiliated herself by acting like a petty teen engaged in a social media smear campaign. Not the asshole. Your wife is immature for doing that. Why would she post such a thing? Not considering your feelings about it. Much less your mother's. Even if you guys are at odds with her. She deserved being called out. Next time she'll be mindful of what she posts. Wife sounds like a drama queen. Not the asshole I hope you went NC with your mom based on behavior that you have witnessed yourself because your wife clearly doesn't mind lying and manipulating. Am I the asshole for encouraging my ex-husband to take a DNA test and potentially destroying his family? Me and my ex-husband, James, tried for almost seven years to have a baby. James was someone who didn't like going to the doctor to solve fertility things and believed it should be in a natural way, without medicine. He even encouraged me not to have an annual checkup at the gynecologist. During those years he blamed me for being infertile and that I was unable to have our children. Toxic relationship, I know. We broke up after a huge fight in which he accused me of being a sterile bitch. The plot twist of the story is that after meeting my current husband and we started trying, because of various comments from James in the past, first soon decided to solve my fertility problem. To my big shock, Everything is healthy and I could have had a child for years probably and when I talked about my past trying to conceive, the doctor pointed out the possibility of James's infertility, which makes sense. I have three children, 4M, 4M and 2F. James and First still have mutual friends and have already met after the divorce, but since I moved out of town, I hadn't seen him in about three years until recently at a kid's party for my friend's son. I met up with James and we started talking. Currently we have an okay relationship, no hard feelings. He said he was engaged and had a seven-month-old son. I said that I had three children and he said something that would be, I'm happy for you. You managed to solve your infertility and got your family. I just gave him a giggle and told him, honey, infertility wasn't on my side. I was able to have kids with you too. The matter died there and I went to another corner of the party. Yesterday I got a random call from an unknown number. When I answered it was the fiancé ex now. Yelling at me that I had meddled in my ex's life and encouraged him to take a DNA test, which came out him not being a father and now James has called off the wedding. She said I destroyed their family by meddling in their lives. My friend said I shouldn't have intruded. I didn't encourage it, it was a normal conversation and he didn't even reply to this. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. All you did is tell him you didn't have any infertility issues. What he did with that information is all on him. You didn't ruin his family, you saved him from being married to a woman who cheated on him. Not the asshole. He made an uncalled for comment about your reproductive organs at a kid's party. You informed him that everything was working well on your end. You never mentioned getting a paternity test. That's oon him, not you. NTA. The ex-fiancé is just mad because she lied and cheated and now he knows the truth. Plus you're right you only had a conversation with the man you didn't tell him to do anything. Am I the asshole for telling my mill why I'm filing for full custody? My, 28F, ex-boyfriend, Mark, 30M, has a girlfriend, Janet, 32F. Janet isn't a very family-oriented person and hates kids, which is ironic because me and Mark have a daughter Cora. Recently a situation came up where Janet tried to punish Cora, by locking her out the house at night. We all live around forests so anything could have happened to her. Cora called me and I ended up picking her up and calling Mark because Janet wasn't answering the door. I called Mark and told him what happened and he told me to at least listen to Janet's side of the story. I told him I didn't care about her side because there's no behavior that could allow an adult to lock a 12 years old out the house. It's honestly appalling to me. I ended finding out the full story and my mind still didn't change about how I felt. I talked to my daughter about how she would feel if I were to file for full custody and she said she didn't care as long as she wasn't around Janet. I told Mark that I was filing for full and he told his mom and she started texting me on Facebook super angry. Apparently Mark and Janet told a different story than what actually happened and excluded the locking out the house part to make me and Cora look bad. I ended up telling Mark's mom and she apologized and from what I was told she told Mark that he was a horrible father and wouldn't talk to him and he decided to continue the relationship between him and Janet. Mark is now saying that I'm a bad person and a bad mom. My sister thinks that I went too far and the situation could have been talked about. Not the asshole. She locked your child out of the house. 
That is not appropriate at all, but especially not as a punishment. Janet did something that endangered your child, and and she knew it was unreasonable which is why she and Mark are lying to everyone. Good for you for protecting your kid, and your daughter's grandmother is a good one. Not the asshole. If anything, you underreacted. Don't let your kid in a house where one adult hates her and the other doesn't seem to even care. Not the asshole. This is literally how Paul Bernardo and Carla Holmolka got one of their victims. A 14 15 year old girl was locked out of her house because she missed curfew. Can you imagine the guilt her mother feels every single day? And this was in a nice, residential neighborhood. Your daughter is 12. This is so far beyond not okay. Fuck Janet.